Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. This is me Mr. P. A couple of days ago one of the Samsung DeX subreddit group members posted a message on our Samsung DeX group informing everybody that there is an option inside Samsung DeX to start mapping your mouse keys. In this video I'll show you where you need to go and what kind of options we have. Let's begin. Before I start showing you what this, what kind of features you will get, options you will get and how every, all this mapping works, one thing I want to point out that I'm, demo, I'm giving you a demo using my Galaxy Tab S6 because my Note 9 don't have this feature. I'm not sure if it's a difference between because I'm using tablet and the phone and the phone decks inside the phone don't have this feature or it's because my Galaxy Tab 6 is running One UI 3.1 whereas my Note 9 is on 2.5. So that might be a different, maybe be a difference or just being a physical difference between devices. One is a phone, one is a tablet. One more thing to show, to mention before I go and give you a demo. I'm using MX Master Bluetooth mouse, which has a bit more buttons than just a standard mouse. And this is a left click, right click, middle click, and additional buttons, one and two. There's an additional button here under the thumb, but this has suddenly stopped working on my Samsung deck, so I don't know what, what gives. But anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five different buttons that I can go and map. Well, technically four, because one of the buttons is just changing the settings, and I'll show you in a second. So how to start mapping your keys? You need to go into a settings window, not this one. Settings, and most of you, I noticed that uh, looking online in about this kind of thing, I noticed that a lot of users going straight away into a Samsung DeX setup settings, and then go inside the Sam, uh, Samsung the mouse and the keyboard settings and trying to get the option there. But this is the wrong place to go and look for. What you need to do, you need to go back into a main settings page Scroll down until you see something related to a uh, language and keyboard. So that's an option. Click on that. And in here, I'll click on mouse and the trackpad. And that's where I can start mapping my keys. At the top, I have a default options like a mouse pointer and how fast the scroll will, will go. And I have the enhanced pointer precision turned on. But right now, let's go through the settings, how to start mapping. The primary mouse button basically is just changing between left click and right click being your primary button. I'm gonna leave as left click. Secondary button is basically what's your right button click will do. I, I selected this to be a contextual menu. Basically what that means, it just opens the properties. Right click just opens the properties. But I can change that to say, show me app screen, which if I change that, if I go and click the right mouse button, it's gonna open the app, app drawer, open and close it every time when I press it. Okay, let's leave that as a contextual menu. I'm gonna carry on setting up. A middle button is a home button, so if I click the middle button, it just puts app, minimizes every single app, active app on the screen and just brings them up. It's like a Windows M on the Windows machine or Windows button M on the Windows machine. Additional button. So this is the additional ones on the on here on the side on the MX Master mouse. There's a left, there's a the bottom one and the upper one, so additional one and two. The additional one acts as a button back button, so if I press that, it just acts as a back button. If I press again, it goes back. So this is my back button. Let's go into the settings. An additional button too, which is just above the first one. This opens the app screen. So that's what I was showing you before. So if I open this, it just opens the app drawer, open and closes. Or I can say I want to open the quick notifications. If I press that, it opens the notifications option. Or, to, or notifications on the side. Quick settings, if I press that, it opens like I want to quickly change the Wi-Fi or something. That's what it does. Or I can select the app to open every time I press it. So if I click on here and I look for, where's the letter R? OP, where is it? Here you go, I select it to be a Reddit. So for every time I press this button, it will open the Reddit app. So you can map to most user, most used app that you're always using as soon as you connect into your Samsung desk. And that can be an email or something else, or obviously you can quickly set up this to be auto start, but you can set up uh, to open an app instead. So this is how you can set it up your mouse buttons or map your mouse keys inside Samsung Dex. Like I said, I'm using my Galaxy Tab S6 to do that. My Note 9 don't have this option, but if you own a, a Galaxy phone and you do have this option, please let me know in the comment section below because I want to update it more. I will use your information to update more people on the Twitter, Instagram, and on the Samsung Dex already group. Thank you much for watching. Like always, if you like this kind of content that we push Samsung Dex to limit and beyond and testing everything what Samsung Dex can do, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already and click like on this button in this video if you think that this kind of information 
was useful. I'm struggling to speak today. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.